Hello everybody, welcome back to Ogo Farm Ogo and this is another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. So now we have our first level 20. Uh, there's something the street puller might need for it. Well then maybe just get you up. Um now, uh, what else did I want to do? Oh, yeah, right. Journal. Now we can do that one, finally. Oh, right. Ah, there's one just over there. Bye, Judy. Well, I fought the law and the law one. can understand her but still it's a bit yeah that she's leaving I think that one was fine Okay. Are you V? Please step in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. In mainland Europe and the Mediterranean. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. Perales. The one running for mayor of Night City. The one. So the one who was DA until recently, but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. Yes. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. End quote. In other news, China has become the first country in the world to formally... As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Rhine a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber psycho attack. Claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? 
Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. Hmm. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Right. Desk where you get it from. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. What do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? Ah. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Yeah. Let's just watch it at least once. So. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. It's even the one that died. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. No, I can add the thing mode. Ah, that's the right one. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. Mm. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Ah. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. That says the right person. Oh, right there. Who your role? Where was he? Please, let him. after the cop. Wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Pretty. Prime, 
Do it after the conference. <laughs> Tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. The conference. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Which is no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like, Johnny, what's up? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night, and it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. <laughs> could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. You know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Well, well, well. <laughs> See anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Ray Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. Yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Finally. You are currently in the exact good. location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. I'll have a look around. The exact location? Okay, yeah, really the exact location. Car, there you are. Um,
Why am I not able to call that guy? There. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? My name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Crushes who? What's your problem? Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? been better. You, Dell? All of my missing assets have returned to the vault. You might say all is going swimmingly. <laughs> I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face-to-face, -face, so to speak. Soon. Not now, but soon. Got a problem? Elements already interesting. Also very um, well versed and different all of them. I think none was like the other. Okay, so I hope for in future. Let me guess. Food from a tube, rusty water from the Someone here to see you looks like outside your bedroom window. Oh, wonder what about you could leave all that behind. You were a ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Send the word space. Okay, thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. I'm now gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss Ori told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, keep my advice as your friend. Let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over her. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. 
Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? You know what? Long was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. My name is Jefferson Perales. Okay, sure. And I this message. Now we're in. <clears throat> Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Lost. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? <coughs> Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. <coughs> Up to you. Now let's, let's go, go to see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. Ah, oh, no, there's the skip right option, so I guess that's it. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. I haven't been here? And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. <laughs> so, who are we supposed to talk to? Cybercycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. We got a problem? What you playing at? You Christine Markov? No, but Christine I know Markov. who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. I do have a feeling that that's a lie. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go. Christine Markov. You, Christine Markov. We have some questions. You badges. NCPD. This is Detective Ward. What do you want? Peter Horvath. No, he worked here. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working. Started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Hazel, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. 
for the post jail Horvath versus the pre jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So, where'd he get the Eddies? Lovely wife just brought me some coffee. In exactly the moment when I thought the puck was crying. Also, I think I'll be back in just a second. So, or you know what? Um, I think I will end this episode here. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. And if you're watching on Twitch, uh, on t if you're watching this on Twitch, please stay a bit longer. Bye bye.